Welcome to the big show. This is Investing with Confidence. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. Once again, as always, I think I have him on every program, my good friend and my great pal, Mr. Al Connix. And you're a little different today. How are you feeling? You know, I, I feel pretty good. Why do you say that, Josh? Well, you got your nice gray shirt on, no I blue a, shirt today. I got the blue on today. You got the blue on today. No, I'm feeling I'm feeling great. How about you? I'm doing really good. It's always great to be back, helping our listeners make better investing decisions. And Al, we have another jam-packed show. We had another phenomenal week yeah. in these markets. Like you said earlier, ditto. Uh, but there's some great movements that we're seeing and great volatility, which is good for the average investor. And I want to talk about some of that today, some of the opportunities that we're seeing, but also different techniques and concepts that the smart money is using that are also available to us, the public. And the public just right. does not know that because they've been con con conditioned to do certain things. Before we hit up some of that stuff, what's going on in this market? How can we participate in these phenomenal moves? Well, it is. We had some phenomenal moves, uh, and some of them have been very short lived. But what we're seeing, Josh, is a little bit of a change in in these markets. And and I, I don't mean the market themselves, but I mean the participants. Uh, yeah. We've had a lot of new people. In fact, people be that are earning between thirty five thousand and seventy five thousand a day have increased their market activity by ninety percent. Wow, that's huge. We've got a lot of young people that have never invested before. And and it's been for them. It's been a good ride because the market has pretty much been going up. But we know that that doesn't always happen. And the the bottom line is we've got a lot of new people in the markets now that ha have really no education or very little experience. And, and this is the time to maybe think about getting that education because this the move up in the market it, it doesn't always happen. The market moves three different directions. And most people are in it only to participate in one direction. That's just that up direction. Yeah, it? just the up direction. And if you think about it, I mean, it doesn't take much uh, thinking to realize that three out of three opportunities is better than one out of three opportunities. My math isn't that well, and I think you are correct. Yeah, on that no, one. neither one of us are math whizzes, <laughs> but that's an easy one to figure out. But you know, and I'm going to go back to uh, our name change again. You know, we changed the name of the show from uh, Retire Young Radio to Investing with Confidence. And the reason we did that is because that is so important. If you're going to be participating in the market and trying to take advantage of the benefits that are out there, you need to be able to do it with confidence. And and for a lot of people that have just entered the market, they've been lucky. And one thing we know about luck is that it, it doesn't always repeat itself. Yeah. And, but, and sorry, continue. Mark. No, I was going to say, you know, and, and how do you, what's confidence? What is investing with confidence? Well, it's really, it's, it's knowing that you have the proper knowledge and you have the appropriate skills, the tools, the resources to increase your chances of being right. In other words, increase your opportunities. It's being able to you know, set a trade or investment and then walk away and not worry about the outcome. And that's because you know that if you're wrong, your capital is protected. You know, if you're right, your profit is, is protected. And it's also knowing that if you need help and it, it almost always Something is going to happen to everybody out there that they're not prepared for. And you want to make sure you have access to someone that can help you with that. That's having, you know, guidance and, and uh, part of a community of people that are kind of like-minded and, and will uh, are more than willing to help each other. Yeah, it does start with, you know, knowledge and it, and it leads into skill. But it, it starts with understanding how the market really works, too. A lot That's of people it. don't understand really how yeah. it really functions. And it's based off of supply and demand. When there's more buyers than sellers, price will go up. More sellers than, than sure. buyers, price will go down. That's natural how that works. Yeah. Explain that in a little more detail. Yeah, well, and just think about it for a minute. When you invest in something, if you, if you are making a trade or you're making an investment, what is your goal with that investment? You want it to yeah, want profit. The, yeah. In other words, you want the price to go in the right direction for you based on that investment. Correct. So is doesn't that make price the most important thing? And and being able to identify when maybe the price will move in your your direction to your yeah. benefit. And that's that's the reason that uh, our core strategy is designed around supply and demand, as you kind of mentioned. It's buyers and sellers. When when the price of something moves up, it doesn't move up just because the fundamentals are great or because a company came out with a new product, the price wouldn't move unless what happened? More People buyers came and, in sellers and bought. sellers and buyers. Right. It, it, buyers move the price one direction. Sellers move the price another direction. So what if there was a strategy you could use where you could identify beforehand where the buy orders are 
in a large enough quantity to actually move the price in the direction you want it to go. A lot of people would call that timing. That's exactly what some people would call it. And, <laughs> and that's also what a lot of pundits out there are going to tell you you can't do. And uh, we have a strategy. Yeah, people are conditioned to do that. Uh, you know, we have a strategy that with a high degree of accuracy does that because it just piggybacks off of what the people that are moving the price are doing. Who's moving the price? It's what we call the smart money. It's the, the institutional uh, traders, the, the big Wall Street firms, the hedge funds. Those are the people that are moving the market. And when you think about it, uh, the, one of the reasons that they're moving the market is they have enough money to do it. When, when millions of dollars can go into one position, that is enough demand there to move the price of something. So the, the important thing for an investor or trader would be to try to identify before they do that. In other words, find unfilled institutional orders that are going to come into the market at some point. That's what our core strategy does. That is a timing mechanism, and that should be one of the two main components of your investing world, that timing part of it, and then the, the other one is the right assets to use at the right time. You're right. I mean, you mentioned earlier that with, you know, so many people are are jumping into these markets, participating in these markets, and they are doing it without the education. They're buying a stock, typically, and hoping things go up. Well, it almost feels like like the institutions are kind of reeling a lot of people in there's it's so easy to get into the market there's so many sure. platforms out there so many discount brokers out there where you can just open an app and then just buy something there's even apps out there you can uh invest your spare change which is kind sure. of crazy Use fractional trades but right. that has no rhyme or reason to where price is at they're right. just right. investing for no particular reason and I, I i do feel that the smart money could be reeling people in but you do need to understand core strategy, which is where price, you know, how price is reacted to buyers and sellers, how right. that, how that right. functions. And so many people are conditioned to just jump in the market and hope things get better. Now, you mentioned multiple assets, different types of trading stock. Right. We're also going to talk about futures, Forex, and options, and why the smart money is using that for income. We'll be right back. 